everyone, it's Tanya from Tanya Krause Horsemanship and you're joining me for an episode of the Millie Diaries um, or the Tanya Training Diaries or you are watching a um, educational video on trailer loading or trailer loading preparation which is what, we're going, what we've been working on. So this is episode 8 of the trailer loading and yesterday we introduced the second barrel to the to the barrel, to the singular barrel. And uh, I thought we got a really good response from it. She was curious about the second barrel, but she wasn't overly worried about it and certainly didn't um, not want to do anything or, or she didn't revert too much back to that sort of nervousness. Now we do have a bit of a rain or a storm coming in. There's, there's so, you can feel it in the air, it's kind of cool. Um, and there's a few like funny bird formations happening and they're flying low and things like that. Um, so I think we're probably going to get rain, so I'm going to get stuck straight into it. I'm going to chase that horse away from the camera so he doesn't uh, disturb us. So basically the reason I'm telling you that is because I've just caught Millie. I haven't even brushed her or anything. I literally put the camera on the fence. By the time I was finished doing that, she had walked up to me and I had the holder in my hand and I put it straight on. So let's go straight into it. Let's go ahead and look. I'm not trying to back her out of that. I actually want her to stand still. But as you can see, what she did, she's looking at something over there. So she sort of went to walk through and she was like, oh yeah, yeah, no worries. I said wool and she went to go through the halter again. And so what I did was I asked her to go back to the point where I asked her to stop in the halter. I didn't have to do, I didn't feel like I had to do a really sharp one because the other day it was, I don't want to stop in here and I'm going to push through the halter. Whereas today it was more, um, I'm just going to back her out. I can see that agitation from the flies or whatever it is. And I can see that it's potentially going to build to something that's going to cause me some annoyance in terms of the training. So when you recognize something like that, you'll absolutely have to get on top of it or get ahead of it, I would say. So again there, she's looking at something back here. I, like I said the other day, I don't know whether it was on one of her videos or another one. I believe that we've had wild dogs or something in the paddock because they're definitely on edge. She's sort of looking over there and there she went to go, oh, I'm just going to walk through this because I'm not really paying attention to what we're doing. I'm too busy paying attention to whatever's happening over here. So I've asked her to stop in there. Now, as I was just saying, I can see that this flies, grass and everything agitation is about to cause me grief. It's, it, she's saying to me, I don't want to stand in there. Back. Right? She's saying, oh, I'm itchy. I'm getting flies. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I can't stand still. If I was trying to teach her park over here, she wouldn't be standing still. It's relative to flies and grass. It's not relative to the barrels. But if I don't get ahead of it and make it my idea to move, what's going to happen is she's going to get, get out of there and move. Now, you guys can probably see the ridge line behind me turning grey. That's actually rain. So we're just about to get wet. But in actual fact, I'm quite happy with this session. I'm quite happy with this session. Because I have actually parked her in there. And I've backed her out both times. Cracker hadn't have moved the photo, the camera. As you can see, we've gone straight to the top. We've gone straight into stopping in there. We've gone straight into backing. So no walk through, no stopping and walking out. We've gone straight into in, back, other direction, in, back, other direction, in, back. I'm going to do one more from the other direction which is the direction she doesn't like because it puts her back to the area in which she's sort of worried about. So I'm going to ask her to do it anyway. But as you can see there, I moved my body. Good. She offered that stop. I moved my body to be in a position to block her if I needed to. And she saw that and she responded to that. But, but then she sort of went, oh, I think I want to try and do what you're asking me to do. And, uh, and she stopped in there, which was nice. 
And there's the backup. Now, not a hugely long, long session, but as I said at the start, and I wasn't, I wasn't saying it because there was a, there's definitely a funny feeling in the air. Um, so, but I wasn't thinking that it was going to have an effect on Millie, and I'm not sure that the air's got an effect on them. Although when it cools off a bit, they definitely get a little bit more reactive or whatever. Um, but for whatever reason, she's being a little bit you know, looky and reactive more than she normally would be. So I'm happy to leave it there um, because like I say, we accelerated like the expectation level. We went straight in, we backed straight out. So we've done no walkthroughs at all. Um, so I'm really confident to start working up to the next level of these, um, of these exercises, um, which is really cool for day seven because we're right on track to have her very confident with the trailer. Um, by, by the 30 days. So yeah, we've still got three weeks. We're taking it nice and slow. I think most of the sessions have been under 10 minutes. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with her progress.